Hello, my name is Fennan and today I am so excited because I am starting a brand new playthrough of Animal Crossing New Leaf. This game was my childhood, it holds an insane amount of nostalgia for me. I haven't played this game for around six years so I'm really excited to take you all on this journey with me. Rover! Oh, excuse me, I have a quick question for you. It's now 10.33 on April 29th, 2023, right? Yep. I was right, oh good. This watch is mine, it keeps getting thrown off really easily sometimes. I'm just gonna plop down in the seat across from you, if you don't mind of course. Oh I love him, I've missed him. By the way, you, hold it. Can I ask your name? So I'm just gonna pop in Fennon. Oh, if I can spell it right. <laughs> Oh, Fennon. Well, that's a fantastically great name. Cute, right? You're right, it is a cute name and so fitting for a girl like you. I know, right? So, Fennon. Tell me, where are you headed today? So, I spent ages trying to work out a cool name, but I ended up going with Moondrop, which is the name that I use for my New Horizons island. <laughs> The town of Mindra. Uh huh. Hmm, Moondrop, yeah. Okay, I don't think I've heard of it. I wonder where it is. Oh, right. Map, map, map. Let's take a look at this train line. Ah, maybe this is it right here? Oh, I don't like that one. Hmm, I was wrong. Let's see. So, from what I remember, they show you four. Oh, no, I don't like that one either. And then. If you don't like the fourth one, you can go cycle back through. See, this one might be the one. I really like how the plaza is right in front of the town hall. I always found that really important for some reason when I played this game as a kid. But let's just see what the fourth one looks like anyway. No. Okay. So it's not going to be this one. Okay, so let's cycle all the way back through to the third one. I think it was the third one. Yeah, not this one. Nope. So it should be... Yeah, I think this is definitely for the best option out of all four. Let me know if you would have picked a different one. <laughs> I'm glad we found it. This is Moondrop, is it? So, do you get to Moondrop very often? So, for those of you that don't know, this is how the game decides what your character will look like, depending on what answer you choose. There are so many different online guides for this, so I had one up, and I decided to go with how my character looked when I played this game as a kid. Which is also very similar to how my character in New Horizons looks. It's just always been my Animal Crossing style of character. <gasps> oh my god, we're nearly here! Now we're arriving in Moondrop, Moondrop Station. Oh my god, the nostalgia is really hitting me right now. Like, I feel so emotional. And think that I've been riding for wearers a lot recently. Haven't done as much travelling since 2002. I think that's a reference back to um, City Folk. Not sure though. Here we are. Oh, I love this cutscene so much. And the music, I love it. I feel like the New Leaf music is actually better than the New Horizons music. Don't at me. <laughs> oh, that hair. We're gonna have to. <laughs> We're gonna have to change that hair. But the face is exactly how I've had all of my Animal Crossing characters as a kid. On the train station. <gasps> Freya! Look, I think she finally arrived. That has to be the person we've been waiting for, right? Oh, right, we should say hi or something. <gasps> okay, everyone, here we go. Ready and for both of us in room drop. Welcome! Oh, God. I can't get over how emotional this is. Mare, we couldn't be happier to see you arrive safe and sound. You're confused. You think I'm Mare? Um, I forgot about this whole bit of lore here. So, the lore is actually you were never supposed to be Mare, but everyone thought you were, and the original Mare just ends up being like, yeah, you can do it, which I find hilarious. I don't know if we ever found out who the actual Mare was supposed to be in the end. Maybe it's online somewhere, I should probably look it up. <gasps> we got our little map. So she wants us to go to the town hall. 
So I went with Han Hu and she basically told me that I need to get a place to live so I have to go over and speak to Tom Nook. Good old Tom Nook. <laughs> Ah, hello, welcome, welcome! You must be a new mayor, right? That's me! On behalf of the Moondrop Chamber of Commerce, I'm pleased to welcome you! So, Fennan, you're here today because you want to build a house? Very good, I can build one. I'm not sure where to put my house, um, but I guess we can go figure it out. It will probably take me a long time, so I'll probably have to cut it. So I spent a really, really long time running around the town and I honestly think I was doing it for about 30 minutes trying to decide where to put my house because I'm pretty sure once you've decided you can't change it in this game. I ended up going here, it's towards the south of the town just in front of the river. I think it's quite a cute little location, um, you can just see it on the map there. Oh our house is going to be so tiny. I'm actually weirdly looking forward to saving up all the bells and doing all of that early game grinding. Ta-da! With this space is officially yours, Fennon. Including the cost of land, oh god, how much is it gonna be? How much is it gonna be? Oh yeah, I remember he gives us a little tent. I actually love the tent, it's adorable. And a little mailbox too. Okay, is he gonna tell me how much? Oh, I stop? oh okay, so I have to stop by later and then he'll tell me? So I went back to Isabel and I did like my birthday registration and all of that and now it is time for one of the cutest little cutscenes ever. It's a tree planting ceremony and this, oh, I'm so sad we don't have this in New Horizons. The music, oh my god. So please take the sapling. Okay, then I now plant a sapling by pressing A. Here we go! Yay! <laughs> These are all our villagers as well. So we've got Freya, Dora, Trick Twiggy, I think that's Del, and Boom. <gasps> None of my like personal favourites, but I don't think I've had any of these villagers before either. Mayor Fennon, congratulations! I hope this tree grows just as strong and as lively as Moondrop. <gasps> oh my god, I I feel so emotional. I'm actually like tearing up a bit. This is crazy. I have so many childhood memories of this game. Please spend the rest of the day as you like. Look around town and greet your neighbours. So we don't have anything else really to do today. We just gotta relax, I guess. So I decided to go back and have a look inside my tent. It is absolutely teeny tiny. Um, but then Isabel came over right away and she actually gave me a little lantern as a present, which is so cute. Our first official piece of furniture. Um, and she also taught me how to do all of the movement stuff, like place furniture, move it, etc, etc. And then she went to we were free to do whatever we wanted for the rest of the day. So it turns out there's actually a short tutorial that you can do, so let's head over to the town hall, speak to Isabel, ask her, I think we are, we're meant to ask her if she has any advice about living in town, and then she'll take me through a couple of steps, so let's do that now. Oh, Mayor Fennon, if you're troubled about what to do, seeing you just moved here, I could give you some advice. So it turned out that the first thing she wanted me to do was to go around and introduce myself to all of the villagers. So I did go and do that, but then I ended up getting distracted and I actually went into Main Street to have a look and I realised I hadn't been in Able Sisters yet. So let's go have a look, see what cute pieces of clothing they have. I wasn't a big fan of this default shirt that I have on right now, so I'm hoping that there'll be something cute. <gasps> Sable and Mabel! Oh my god. Okay, let's have a look. <gasps> the overall dress. Straight away, I knew, I know I have to have the overall dress straight away. It's so cute! It's actually something that I would probably wear in real life as well. So it's really over the moon that this was actually in the store on the first day. Ah, that is so much better. Okay, so let's also go have a look in. I think Label has a little accessory store. 
to the right if I remember correctly. Yeah, oh, although there isn't actually anything that I would wear here, but I really like that she has a store here. I think it's nice. I'm kind of sad that in New Horizons they got rid of it and instead she's like a traveling merchant. So then I decided to go back to Tom Nook and pay off my house loan. It turned out it was only 10,000 bells, which I managed to get pretty quickly by like selling fish. Um, I also got really lucky with the money rock today and I ended up getting 17,000 from the money rock alone or something like that. It was either 16,000 or 17,000. So I was really happy that I was able to pay off the first loan in the first day. That's a pretty good start. Um, I was kind of sad here because they didn't give a pink roof as an option, but I do know that it's something that I can buy later on because the store that I'm in right now does different designs for like your door, your letterbox, your walls, um, the fence around your house, your roof, stuff like that. So I guess I'll have to get it at a different point. But I did spend a while just trying to work out if there was a way for me to get a pink roof, but there wasn't, so... Um, I ended up going for a red roof because it was probably the one that's closest to pink. Oh yeah, so now he's just telling me about how he can update my exterior. Okay, cool. I really like this as well. I think it's cool. But I guess the way that they do it in New Horizon works as well. Yay! And we got a little... I, I don't even know what to call this. A little animation. So after this, I ended up going back to Isabel and finishing off the tutorial. She got me to do things like get some fish and collect some seashells and little stuff like that for her. It was a pretty easy tutorial to be honest, but I remember the first time I played it as a kid, I somehow missed it the first day. Like I didn't realise it was a thing, so I was like a day behind on progress compared to my friends who had started at the same time, which was annoying. So I went back to Isabel and she actually gave me a watering can as a little gift which works out perfectly for me because for some reason ever since I first played Animal Crossing in I'm not sure what year it was but it was Wild Wild on the DS I've been obsessed with breeding hybrid flowers it's literally one of my favourite things in all of the Animal Crossing games I'm not sure why um, but I was really excited that Isabel gave me a watering can because it means I can water some flowers and possibly have a chance to get our first ever hybrids tomorrow morning I mean that would be extremely lucky but we'll give it a go anyway so I did go around, um, I got some flowers of the same type and planted them together um, and I gave them a water but that's pretty much it for the first day. I really hope you guys like this video, I'm hoping to get one or two of these episodes out a week so if you want to follow me along on this journey of New Leaf in 2023 I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button, drop a like and comment and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!